Hi everybody, welcome back to the Feynman Technique. Uh, today we'll take a look at this uh, crazy looking integral right here. Um, we won't be using Feynman integration today, this is just going to be uh, a plain old integral, but um, it's, it's kind of tricky to solve, so I'd like to show it on this channel. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is let x equal 1 over u which implies that um, dx is equal to negative 1 over u squared du. Okay, so that's going to give us this, that i is equal to, well, if x is 1 over u, then u is 1 over x. So 1 over 0, well, we'll just call that infinity, 1 over 1 is 1 square root sign stays the same. Now we're left with natural log of u, and then our dx is negative. That negative sign I will use to switch our bounds of integration. So now, instead of going from infinity to 1, we will go from 1 to infinity, and then over u squared du. All right. Now, the next substitution we're going to make is that u is equal to e to the w. All right. Well, that implies that du is equal to e to the w dw. All right. So now our i changes. All right. Well, if u, which is infinity, is equal to e to the infinity. All right. So... Our upper bound is still infinity. Well, if u is 1, that means that our w has to be 0. And then we're left with the square root of, well, let's see. Um, square root of natural log e to the w is just w over, let's see, our u is e to the w, so u squared is e to the 2w. And then we have e to the w dw. That will cancel, and that 2 will cancel. All right. Now, what are we going to do? Um, well, let's rewrite this as w to the 1 half times e to the negative w dw. w to the 1 half times e to the negative w dw. All right, now let's let w equal t squared. All right, so what does that give us? Well, that means that dw is equal to 2t dt. All righty. Um, Let's perform that substitution. So now our integral is, well, w infinity is uh, infinity squared. So, um, yeah, it's still going to be 0 to infinity. And our w is t squared. w to the 1 half would simply be t. And our e to the negative w would become e to the negative t squared, and then we're left with our dw, which is 2t dt. And now we'll perform integration by parts on this. We will use the tabular method. Um, so uh, let's put a derivative column and an integral column. Um, the thing that makes sense to differentiate would be t squared. And Hmm. No, you know what? We can't do that yet. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and use integration by parts on this form as it is. So again, we'll be using the tabular method. 
And let's take the derivative of w to the 1 half, and let's integrate e to the negative w. All right, well, that's going to give us w to the negative 1 half over 2. And this will give us negative e to the negative w. And then we'll put the plus minus. All right, so i is equal to w to the 1 half negative w to the 1 half times e to the negative w evaluated from 0 to infinity. Let's see. Plus the integral from 0 to infinity of w to the negative 1 half e to the negative w dw over 2. So 1 half of that. Did I do that right? Yes, minus times a minus is a plus. We have the one half. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well, our upper bound, uh, this e to the negative infinity would make uh, that go to zero. And this w to the one half would make the lower bound go to zero. So all we're left is this. All we're left with is this. All right. Now we will make the, um, let's see. Now we'll let w equal t squared, which implies that dw is equal to 2t dt. All right, that's going to give us, um, let's see, 1 half the integral from 0 to infinity of, let's see, w to the negative 1 half, but w is t squared, so that's t to the negative 1, right? Yeah, if we square that, we'll get t to the negative 1, times e to the negative t squared times our dw, which is 2, which I will use to cancel that one-half, t, which will cancel this t to the negative one, dt, which is half the Gaussian integral, which is equal to the square root of pi over 2. All right, and that's our answer. I know there was no Feynman integration in that, um, but... I thought that was pretty cool. You don't usually see square roots of uh, natural log functions, um, so I decided to feature that on the channel. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that.